What is going on guys? Trey coming back to your screen by means of the World Wide Web. And today for you guys we are going to get into yet another Grand Quest mission. Now uh, this one I was saving for towards the end of the Grand Quest missions because I was trying to figure out uh, I guess you could say easy way in order to complete this Grand Quest alright. Um, there's a key unit you need in order to make this Grand Quest fairly easy all right it can still be a pain depending on how rng treats you um i'll explain that a little bit later but we're going to get into the crimson gods cry for Seria, okay so let me show you the achievements and lock those on the left side of the screen for you guys so you'll be able to see them at all times um as far as 100 percent clear fairly straightforward guys um there's really nothing to figure out all right you just got to beat the boss with three different allies okay you got telly you got gra you got Lagina. Alright, so you're going to have to do this three times in order to complete it 100%. But uh, it's fairly straightforward as to what you have to do. There's nothing really to figure out. Um, you just got to do it. Alright, and doing it is the hardest part. Going to explain that soon too. Alright, so here's what I use to make it really easy, guys. Yes, I know you may be a little surprised by this, but these are the two units I use. And yes, they make this fairly easy, okay? Now, let me show you what my setup here, all right? I got the Ishrion and the Star of Hope. Fully maxed out rise, okay? Max to the max to the max. Um, the main reason she's that max, though, is I use her for Imp Parade. But uh, she's also very, very, very useful for this Grand Quest, all right? Um, I found that she is, hands down, the best unit to use for this, in my opinion, all right? Um, she makes it fairly easy in order to beat this guy. Um, as long as RNG is on your side, that is. All right. And then my girl here, um, who you guys know as Cerise, um, you get her from the Thunder Vortex Arena. All right. So I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys may have her. Uh, she's actually very useful for this. All right. I did not level her BB. Not really. Didn't really need to for this. But um, she does help. She comes in pretty handy. Um, her BB increases the attack of Thunder type enemies by 50%. In addition to doing some damage herself. So um, she is fairly weak guys. Alright. She's a free unit. She only goes up to 5 star. But she fit the bill almost perfectly. Um, for what we need for this grand quest. Grand quest, Because as you can see. Your cost is extremely limited guys. It don't matter what level you are. The max cost for this mission is 54. Alright. So. That's why I brought these two units. Alright. Now the key thing that makes Rise really good for this, um, I already explained Cerise. Uh, for Rise, it's her BB. All right, we're using her as leader, of course. So we got the leader skill in effect, 80% boost the attack and boost the HC drop rate. But it's her BB that's really good, guys. She does a massive single target attack and gradually recovers allies HP for three turns. Very key for this trial, all right, because uh, this trial could kind of suck. It can kind of suck, all right. Um, we're going to put some Fujins up in here. Fujin power. Fujin, Fujin, Fujin. Bring Fujin just in case. And then take out these Aries Elixirs. Actually, you know what? Keep the Aries Elixirs. Um, you can, you could bring Bolt Stones. The only thing about Bolt Stones is they don't last as long, alright? Or well, you don't get as many. I mean, you only get three. And they last three turns each. So you'll run out of those fairly quick. Um, that's why I like the Aries Elixirs a little better. You can bring six of those. So these are the items I bring for this Grand Quest mission, all right? All right, so uh, let's go ahead and begin, guys. All right, so uh, I'm going to skip all the lip here first. So let's skip all the talking. There is a lot of it, so let's get past this real quick. Oh, okay, Lynn. All right, yep, 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 yep. I understand. We got it, of course. Yes, ma'am. Oh boy. Okay, are we done? All right, we're done. All right, so fairly straightforward grand quest, guys. All right, you have three paths you can take here. See, three paths that all lead to the same end result in the snowy mountains. Okay, so. As I stated earlier, to complete this 100%, you got to beat it with Till, you got to beat the demon with Gra, you got to beat the demon with Lagina, all right? So you're going to have to take all three of these paths eventually um, to get 100%. 
If you go over here to the frozen cave, you'll run into Tillith. And you'll fight the boss with Tillith as well. You go in the middle path here to the white fields, you'll run into Gra. And then you'll take Gra onto the boss battle and use him to complete it. And then finally, if you take the right path over here to the blizzard forest, you will run into Lugina. And you will take Lugina up to the snowy mountains to fight the boss. Alright? Now, basically what's going to happen, you're going to choose one of these three paths. Whichever path you need to choose in order to get 100%. Alright, it's going to be a little mini battle cutscene, then you're going to go up to the boss, it's going to be another mini battle, and then you're going to fight the boss. Alright, the first boss himself, um, his name is Augmos, Augmos, however you want to say it. Um, he's fairly easy, straightforward, alright, um, just kick his behind, alright, once you get him to 10% HP or lower, um, he's going to run away. Alright, you're going to run into a little cutscene, and then you're going to fight the biggest pain in the sack biggest pain in the side boss ever <laughs> in this game's history okay <laughs> um his name is frozen fang Ogmos. um now this setup that i have in this video is probably hands down one of the easiest if not the easiest all right but uh regardless this can be a very tiresome grand quest because you can't have whatever unit you choose to bring with you whether it be tillith whether it be Gra, whether it be Lugina, all right? During that second boss fight, they can't die and Saria can't die, all right? In the event that either one of those die, the game's over. You're going to have to restart the boss battle from the beginning, okay? So uh, that is hands down the most difficult part about this mission, guys. Defeating Ogmos in his second form is not the hard part. It's making sure that Saria and your other unit does not die, all right? For that very reason, the entire battle, I don't even use them, guys. I literally guard both of them the entire battle. I don't use them at all, all right? I use my other two units that I brought because if they die, it's not a big deal. You can just revive them, get them back into the game, okay? But um, I'm going to give you a quick breakdown of the way Ogmos or Ogmos works, all right? His first form, I'm not even going to worry about. Just kick his butt. This is second form you need to know about, all right? So, um, Ogmos has a couple of weapons he likes to equip, alright? If he equips the Spiral Dagger, he's going to decrease his own at uh, attack, but he's going to double his normal hit count and remove all, all buffs on himself. So, uh, when he uses that, um, he doesn't really use any AoEs, but he has very powerful single target attacks, guys. And if he decides to focus on Saria with that Spiral Dagger equipped, she will die, which means you will be restarting the boss battle. Hence... The reason why I tell you guys, um, even with this setup, which is the easiest setup I've come across, this boss can be difficult regardless because if he focuses on Saria and kills her, you'll have to restart the boss battle. Nothing you can do about it, alright? You just gotta hope RNG decides to not focus on Saria, alright? When he equips the Ice Brand, he's gonna nullify all status ailments on himself, increase his crit rate by 10% and removes all buffs. Nothing too huge there, alright? Now, usually, when he equips the Ice Carving, carving Axe, he's going to boost his own attack by 20%, add defense, ignore, and remove all buffs on himself, all right? Usually, when he equips the Ice Carving Axe, you're going to see a message that says, Accumulating Power, okay? When he does that, guys, guard, okay? Use cures if you have to get your Saria and your other ally up to near max HP and guard, Okay, um, make sure you guard, very important because this guy does have the ability to kill Saria very easily. Your other unit, not so much because he won't be dealing increased damage due to elemental weakness, but still, just in case, get the HP high and guard, okay, because he can attack after that. No, he doesn't attack after that move, all right, so you'll be safe. Um, Spravade. 6 combo water attack on all enemies and 15% chance to inflict injury and poison. Um, it's an AoE. He uses this move often. Um, I have a Star of Hope on my Rise just for that move specifically so he doesn't inflict any status ailments on her. But if you, if the others get hit with status ailments, don't worry. Rise's BB will heal them more than the poison will damage them. That is the reason why Rise is so key for this grand quest. All right. He has another move called Evaporating Spirit. It basically removes all buffs. Okay. Uh, pretty straightforward there. He has a move called Avalanche. It's basically a 17-hit water element AOE. 
all right now this move can be a little bit of a pain in your side the next move i'm going to describe here it's called soul scratch it's a nine combo single target water attack and it reduces the bb gauge all right so if he decides to focus on your rise who is going to be your key damage dealer here this can be a little bit of a pain in the side okay he um i haven't run across him doing that but like i said it's all rng at the end of the day all right um, Avalanche Axe is another move he has 5 combo water attack on all enemies and 20% chance to inflict injury. Um, moderately strong attack, um, nothing you really need to worry too much about as long as you keep your allies HP high, you'll be fine. Alright, now this boss has two HP thresholds you need to watch out for. Both times he's going to use a move called Rebellious Silence. Two combo massive water attack on all enemies. When this attack comes around, guys, most definitely, definitely, definitely make sure your allies, your Seria and your other ally have near full HP and they are guarding, okay? Um, because this move can, if they're not guarding, it will pretty much wipe Seria. I, matter of fact, I can guarantee you it will wipe Seria if you don't guard her, all right? Your other ally, um, they may not get wiped, but they'll definitely be in the red zone. And after rebellious silence, he can still attack. So he's going to use that move, and he's going to do a few more attacks afterwards. Um, best thing to do is guard so they don't be uh, near death, and then get attacked, and you have to end up restarting this thing. All right. So on um, those HP thresholds are at 75% HP and 30% HP. All right. That's pretty much this boss in a nutshell. Like I said, guys, the strategy for me. Always guard Syria every turn. Guard your other ally every turn. You don't even need him, all right? And it'll save you the headache of having to retry this boss battle in the event that you don't guard and he kills him, okay? So um, just focus on using BB with Rise every turn you can. You can also use the BB with Cerise whenever you can. Um, I, the only time I guard my entire squad is when he does the accumulating power message. And the main reason I do that is because you don't want to face that mo the move after that turn and rebellious silence in the same turn. Because even if you guard your Seria and your other ally, more than likely they're both dead, okay? And you don't want to retry this stupid freaking Grand Quest. It's a pain in the side. All right? So uh, I pretty much explained everything there is to know about this Grand Quest as far as defeating it and getting it done 100%, guys. So um, basically what I'm going to try to do aka try if rng is too much of a pain i'm just gonna say scratch it but what i'm gonna try to do is go ahead and complete this grand quest all the way through for you okay so sit back relax guys enjoy the video we're gonna fast forward this beast all right so here we go fast forward
All right, guys, and there you have it. The Crimson Gods Cry 100% Completion Guide. All right, the best strategy I was able to come up with. Works fairly well, like I said, guys. Um, but you still got to be where RNG may screw you over here and here and there. So uh, you may lose at times, but this is probably one of the most effective strategies that I've been able to come up with. All right, so just to show you the quest clear rewards real quick, you get the ruby, which is what you need to evolve Seria to her six star form. You get a sphere called the Phoenix Wing. Um, you get one here for completing the quest 66% of the way, but also you can craft this sphere, so it's nothing super special. For those that don't know what it do, um, it restores HP every turn from five to 800 plus 10% of your recovery, and as a chance of slight HP recovery when damaged, you have a 40% chance to absorb 20% of the HP, all right? So, you also get burst frogs, you also get imps, 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 and then a gem, all right? So, that's the quest clear rewards, and that's how you complete this grand quest mission 100%, all right? So, we are officially down to only one left, guys. That's the Lugina trial that just recently got released. So uh, we're definitely going to be knocking that one out for you guys soon. Last but not least, just show you guys the Evo mats for Saria. All right. So here's what you need to evolve. All right. I could evolve it right now. I'm not going to. All right. I usually like to only evolve units in line with a daily task. So I'm going to wait for that to evolve. But here's the materials you need: Miracle Totem, two Fire Totems, a Metal Mimic, and the Ruby. Along with 500,000 Zell, and you have yourself a six star series. All right, so that's going to wrap up this video, guys. Any questions, concerns, any things like that, leave them down in the comments below. I'll do my best to help you guys out. All right, otherwise, thank you all for watching. Please continue to like, subscribe, favorite, share, comment, and everything else. And also, if you wish to join the Facebook group, once again, link down below in the description. Later, guys.